Hi, I'm Mike Caruso. I developed the most amazing approach for putting the guitar neck into one unit using scales. No memorization, no visual aids. I call it the natural approach. I created it in the late 70s, but I'm very happy to present it to you here now on YouTube. I'll cover the pentatonic scale first, then the major scale. Using the G pentatonic scale, the five different notes in the scale are G, A, B, D, E. Also on the sixth string, G, A, B, D, E. There are five basic scales. I'll play these five basic scales starting from each of the scale notes on the sixth string. As I play these scales, please note that I use two notes per string. This is very important, and I'll cover that shortly. Scale one, starting on G. Scale two, starting on A. Scale 3 starting on B. Scale 4 starting on D. And scale 5 starting on E. The two notes per string sends me back and forth across the neck, and that's all it does. Let's try three notes per string. The three notes per string sends me up and down the neck, but once again, that's all it does. In order for me to move back and forth and up and down the neck, I would need to combine the two and three notes. When I want to move back and forth across the neck, I play two notes per string. When I wish to move up and down the neck, I play three notes per string. I'll move around the neck using two and three notes and give you the number of notes I'm playing per string. Well, we'll start off with some threes, some twos, threes again, twos, threes, two. By combining the two and three notes in this way, I have put the neck into one unit. In order for you to do this, and it's very easy, first learn the basic two note per string scales, exactly as I played them. When you're comfortable with the scales, establish the sound of the scale, then starting on G, play three notes per string. When playing three notes, use the fingering one, one. The one, one fingering sets up each string and ensures that all the three notes per string feel the same and you want that. There are five different notes in the scale, but there are only three different three note figures. It's quite amazing. This is one. These two are the same. These two are the same. And of course, this is what we started with. It is not necessary 
for you to play the three note per string figure starting from each of the scale notes on the sixth string. You could do that, but you would be just repeating what you have already played when you started on G. If you start on A, you would have A, B, D, and here it is. You've already played it. Learn the five basic scales. Two notes per string. Learn the three note per string scales, one one fingering. When you feel comfortable with the scales, start moving around the neck. When you want to move back and forth on the neck, play two notes per string. When you want to move up and down the neck, play three notes per string. As you move around the neck, you're going to have the numbers two, three, two, three, constantly going on in your mind, that's fine. As you become more secure with the neck, the need to think of two and three notes will disappear, and what you are left with is the feel of two and three notes and the neck into one unit, and that will happen. As you move around the neck, you may notice that the fingering for the two notes per string may be different then when you learn the two notes per string in the original basic scales, that is fine. Use whatever fingering falls into place. Do not attempt to memorize anything. This is not a memorization program. We want a mind-to-hand connection, not an eye-to-hand connection. It is not necessary for you to play other keys. The two and three note per string figures are the same for all 12 keys, it's just a matter where you play them. And moving from scale to scale is so simple. I just play from G to F. Now I'm in D flat. How do we move from scale to scale? Simple. When you hear the chord. You're improvising against a G chord. B chord comes up. You're right on it. A flat, right on it. And don't forget, the pentatonic scale is also used as a minor scale. So if you're improvising against E minor, and an A flat minor comes up, perfect. A minor, no problem. Doesn't matter how fast the chords are going by. It is just that incredible. As great as two and three notes per string are for moving around the neck, you're going to want more movement. We have four notes per string. I view the four notes as two notes followed by two. And the notes come from the basic scale. The first two notes I played were from scale one, and these notes are from scale three, and so on. I'll move around the neck using four notes per string and give you the number of notes I'm playing per string. We'll start with some four notes some twos, threes, four, threes, fours, threes, two. I've created pattern exercises for my students. Two, three, two, three, two, three, four, three, three, four, two, three. Oh, I wrote tons of them. Put them in the book. If you see these patterns in the book, do not make the mistake of assuming that these are scales to be memorized. They are not scales, they are exercises. Designed to help the student gain the feel of four, three, and two in their hand. My students didn't do the patterns. They know that two notes per string sends you back and forth across the neck. Three notes per string sends you up and down the neck. They put the neck into one unit and found that the four notes per string showed up in their playing without them even having to practice it. The same will happen for you. Let's move on to the major scale. The major scale is very much like the pentatonic scale. We have a basic scale that sends us back and forth across the neck, and we have a scale that sends us up and down the neck. The difference is we use three notes per string to move back and forth on the neck, and four notes per string to move up and down the neck. I'll move around the neck using three and four notes and give you the number of notes I'm playing per string. We'll start with some four notes. E 
Use the threes. Fours. Here's some threes. The fours. By combining the three and four notes in this way, I have put the neck into one unit. In order for you to do this, and it's very easy, first learn the three note per string scale starting on F in the key of F. When playing the three note per string scale, notice there is a five fret spread. Always use the fingering one, two, four when playing the five fret spread. There are seven different notes in the scale, but only three different three note per string figures. It's amazing. These two are the same. These two are the same. These two are the same. We're missing the C, and that's the same as when we started. It is not necessary to play the three note per string figure starting from each of the scale notes on the sixth string. You could do that, but you would be just repeating what you have already played starting on F. If you start on A, the notes would be A, B flat, C, and they're right here. You have already played it. Learn the three note per string scale. When you're comfortable with the scale, Establish the sound of the scale. Then starting on F, play four notes per string. When playing four notes per string, use the fingering one, one. The one, one fingering sets up each string and ensures that all the four notes per string feel exactly the same. There are seven different notes in the scale but there are only three different four-note figures. It's, this is incredible. And that's what makes putting the neck into one unit so easy. These two are the same. These two are the same. These two are the same. We're missing the B flat, and that's the same as A. It is not necessary to play the four note per string figures starting from each of the scale notes on the sixth string. You could do that, but you would be just repeating what you have already played when you started from F. If you started on A, the notes would be A, B flat, C, D, and they're right here. You have already played it. Learn the three note per string scale. Use the fingering one, two, four for the five frets. Learn the four note per string scale. Use the one, one fingering. When you're comfortable with the scale, start moving around the neck. When you want to move back and forth, you use three notes per string. When you wish to move up and down the neck, you play four notes per string. As you move around the neck, you're gonna have the numbers going through your head. Three, four, three, four, that's fine. As you become more secure with the neck, the need to think of three and four notes will disappear, and what you are left with is the feel of three and four notes and the neck into one unit, and that will happen. It is not necessary to play other keys. The three and four note per string figures are the same for all 12 keys. It's just a matter where you play it, and moving from scale to scale is so easy. I played from F to E flat. Did my left hand look as if it was doing something different? It didn't feel different to me. In fact, it is when I play through 12 keys, it doesn't feel different. All keys are equal. It's just that amazing. And how do we change from scale to scale? It's simple. When you hear the chord, you're improvising against F major, could be F major seven, F major six, it doesn't matter. A flat major comes up, you're right on it. 
And don't forget, the major scale shares its scale notes with two other scales, minor seventh and seventh. If you hear a minor seventh chord, you're right on it, seventh, no problem. Doesn't matter how fast the chords go by, it is just that incredible. I want to go back to the three note per string scale once more. I use the key of G and start at the third fret. I started at the third fret but ended at the fifth fret. I would like to start at the third and end at the third. How do we do that? Simple. We just put two notes on any string. I'll put two notes on the third string. Put two notes on the second string. As great as three and four notes are for moving around the neck, you're going to want more movement. Back to F major again, we have five notes. I view the five notes as two notes followed by three. And the notes come from the basic three note per string scale. The first two notes were from the beginning of F major and the A, B flat, C are right here. We also have six notes per string and I love six notes. I view the six notes as three notes followed by three. Once again, the notes come from the basic three note per string scale. F, G, A, B flat, C, D. F, G, A, B flat, C, D. I'll move around the neck using five and six notes and give you the number of notes I'm using per string. Start with six notes. These are threes, five, Six, five, threes. I've created pattern exercises for my students. Four, three, four, three, four, three, six, five, three, four, five, six. Oh, I wrote tons of them, put them in the book. If you see these patterns in the book, do not make the mistake of assuming that these are just scales to be memorized. They are not scales, they are exercises designed to help the student gain the feel of six, five, four, three, two in their hands. Students didn't do the patterns. They know that three notes per string sends you back and forth across the neck. Four notes per string sends you up and down the neck. They put the neck into one unit and found that the two five and six notes per string showed up in their playing without them even having to practice it. You can do all of this with the harmonic minor scale, minor scale, chromatic scales, different approach, easy. Augmented diminished, cinch, arpeggios. You can put the neck into one unit using arpeggios and fly through chord changes, absolutely fabulous. The best part of all of this you don't have to unlearn anything. My natural approach automatically takes over. The neck is in one unit, no memorization, no visual aids. Let's go back to the pentatonic scale. I suggest you put the neck into one unit using the pentatonic scale first, then the major scale. Now what we've been trying to do here, and this is really simple, we want to put the neck into one unit quickly. This is so when you practice, you don't have to practice scales anymore. You have to memorize scales. You're done with it. You want to create. You want to improvise. In order to be a great improviser with the pentatonic scale, you need to learn all the sounds in this scale, and there are many. I've created chord progressions for my students to improvise against. Very specific progressions to bring out all the beautiful sounds of this scale. Provided CD rhythm tracks for them, did the same for the major scale. As the students play through the progressions, I begin to introduce the seven missing notes. There are 12 notes in music, we're only using five. The students have the basic scale. I'll add the flat third. 
I'll add the flat five in combination with the flat third. The students add the seven notes individually or in combination with each other. Having the neck into one unit is an absolute must in order for you to grow creatively. Let's say this is your creative window. You're improvising, new ideas come, maybe you can get to them, maybe you can't, you're unsure of the neck, whatever the reason, you may condition your mind into thinking, that's it, that's my creative growth. And that's not really true. Once the neck is in one unit, this opens up and your creativity is free to grow unlimited. Now before I go, I want to invite you to look for me on YouTube. I have another posting. I have created the most amazing approach to octaves. You're going to love it. It's going to make you an incredible octave player. I hope you enjoyed my natural approach to scales and the information I provided. And I wish you great guitar playing.